Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently attempting to win Alaska from Russia. We'll see how that ends up going. I would actually like to change these over to advancing these fronts or at least this one. Let's leave it like that and see how this goes. In theory, without them getting a being able to get supplies here, this should go fairly well for us, all things considered. We're going to lose this battle. That's okay. We don't need to win every single battle. And there's apparently a secession going on here. Idaho, Wyoming, Nevada, Utah. That's probably not that big of a deal. We've got 20, 20 units there. Let's go ahead and activate a few conscripts. Like, just the California conscripts should do the trick there. So no more than that. That should be reasonably fine. And we'll keep an eye on this. We will redirect one of these forces, perhaps like Joseph Parsons, down here once we are ready for that. For the moment, things should be going... Oh, that's a terrible battle. Okay. I don't know why we're taking that, but whatever. Absolutely abysmal, that battle. We have additional forces on their way in, right? We have a 28% advantage right now, in theory, and that's continuing to go on up. So this should, in theory, be fine. Albanian people are migrating to Ohio. Okay, cool. So these people are a bit upset, huh? Oh, there's a uh, new front here. This isn't us. Somebody just exited that war, actually. Um, I'm just checking in here. I don't know why this new front opened up. Sure. This is considered a vulnerable front right now because we have no one assigned to it, but we John Pershing is here defending this front. I think we should send Novell over to here. And then we'll send, for now, Alan Galbraith over to here. There are three fronts, or actually four fronts, that have opened up here. Which is very awkward. And we'll have some forces come on, coming on in here soon. You are supposed to be in the other Ontario-Alaska front. Go on over. Okay. So he arrives. Looks good. Wow, there's so many fronts over here. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get these fronts dealt with soon enough. They're spread out very thinly. That's actually good for us that they're spread out like that. Uh, we should move, like, this guy over to here. Over to this front. Okay. So we're going to head on over there. There are a lot of fronts around here, and this secession is going to be a little awkward with all of these fronts opening. But we'll see if we can manage to take these fronts over. I think that we should be able to get rid of these fairly quickly, and in theory, spreading out like this is good for us. It spreads their numbers out and dilutes them a little bit, I think. Right? I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. So this secession is going to happen not this week. Or actually, it could, depending on rounding. We'll see. Okay. So it did happen there. So we need to send a unit down over here. And I'm going to send John Pershing to go advance front down over here. Apparently, we can't. That's interesting. Uh, why can't we send John Pershing down here? Oh, there we go. Okay, I was just clicking on the wrong thing. Fantastic. So we're going to send him down there. And we'll just work on wrapping up some of these fronts over here. I think that we'll be absolutely fine here. It shouldn't be a problem. And we'll arrive here in like 19 days. That's going to take some time to get that under control. But for the moment, it's okay. Interesting that this isn't showing up as another war here. Unless this is considered a... No, this should be a war, right? No, I don't think it is. This is, at this point, I'm guessing, a diplomatic incident. Yeah, this is an active diplomatic play here. So, this is fine. They're currently uncertain. We'll send a force down there, and we're clearing up some of these fronts at this point. So, that looks good. We've got that all under control. Now we're down to three fronts over here. Excellent. That looks phenomenal. 
So of course we're going to deal with this eventually, but we're not too concerned about that. That's what's going on here. Nobody is really joining over this way. Are we still a pariah? No, we're down to Notorious, so that's good. We've wrapped up this front over here and we're pushing into Alaska properly. The Great Tennessee Flood, huh? That's really expensive. For 20% devastation? Pass. They'll have to deal with it. We can't afford that. Okay, so we're pushing through Alaska here, and this looks really, really simple at this point. This is pretty crushed, so that's looking good. These guys are mostly just going to be defending the front for the moment. So we'll just have them defend. And we'll bring in reinforcements down here once we've ended this war, I feel like. So yeah, we're definitely easily winning this battle. Looks good. And we'll get more territory occupied. Soon enough, Russia will capitulate. Austria sided with this uprising. Well, that's awkward. Okay. Um, let's... How can Austria get there? That's a question that I have. Well, we'll see. If we need to activate more conscripts, we always can. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and activate our Mexico conscripts. There we go. Cool. Austria declared their rivalry. Fair enough. We're just going to look to hold this until such a time as this war is over for the time being. Although I may think about moving some forces out of here. Specifically, this guy. So let's actually move him over to this front here. Okay. So we're moving him on over, and the Alaskan front should be reasonably fine. We're in the countdown to war up here, so nobody else is going to join other than Austria. And that should be reasonably fine. My next question is, how will Austria get here? Well, we pretty much just raid here. That's their only supply network that is nearby. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll raid that. Sounds good. We'll have forces arriving here in 28 days. We are a bit negative financially right now. I'm not shocked about that one. All of this construction is ongoing nicely. Yep, this war has broken out. Our forces will arrive here in 20 days. And that should be good enough. We're going to take some losses over here until they get there. But we need to wrap up this war up over here, right? We need to wrap up the Russian war. That is the current top priority. Once that's done, all of this should be fine. No major issues there. So Austria are embargoing us for the moment. These guys are going to be advancing the front. These guys are going to be defending the front. And yes, we're losing down over here until such a time as these guys arrive, which they have now arrived. So that looks good. We're quite negative financially at this moment. That's not a surprise considering what we've got happening. So we're going to lose this battle. That was always expected that this first battle would be lost. So that's okay. No major issue there. We are seeing a vulnerable front over here. Right. So we need to move like this guy over to this front. Okay. We'll go deal with that. Having more fronts here is good. We want to have additional fronts. So as far as this over here goes, we do have a bit of an advantage here at this juncture. That's looking solid. I do want to switch this guy over to advancing the front. He no longer needs to be defending. And we'll see about taking this on over. Excellent. Oil was discovered in Alberta. Is that something that we have? Yes, it is. We'll queue that up. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so this uprising will be dealt with fairly easily, right? We're actually losing this battle here. That's awkward. But we don't care too much about the uprising just yet. We want to get Alaska dealt with first. That is our top priority. Our health system investment just went up. That looks good. 
And Alaska is nearly done. Let's go ahead and propose a peace deal here. Now, they would not accept this. They have 102 reasons not to. Okay. That's going to be going down pretty soon. Cool. Yeah, we control 100% of our war goals. So they're losing 2.56 per week. Oil discovered in Alberta. Yes, we knew that. How's this battle over here going? Probably awkwardly. Yeah, this is uh, not going the best. But hopefully we do have decent advantages here. Let's continue to push through over this direction and take Alaska. We should be able to wrap this up and get this turned around nice and quickly. How's this battle going here? Oh, this is an amazing battle. I love this battle. This is really, really good. We caught basically their entire force here. And this is going to be ridiculous. Absolutely amazing. Cool. So we very much like that. Up over here, we are definitely wrapping up one of the fronts. The other front should be done very, very soon. So the question is, when will Russia give us Alaska? They have 82 reasons not to right now. Okay, fair enough. And as far as this uprising goes, with us winning this battle, I think we're going to win this war as well, fairly soon. Georgian people are moving to Yucatan. Um, these guys are proposing our peace deal that we want. Return all states that seceded from us. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like what we want. Cool. So that war is over. We've got that dealt with. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to deal with Alaska. So are these forces traveling up over here? Yes, they are. Perfect. So our generals are heading up over here. And this is all thoroughly under control. We've got forces moving in here. They're not there on that front yet. Excellent. Russia is currently 74 reasons away from accepting this. And there's a vulnerable front out over here. That's reasonably expected, I think. For the moment, we'll leave that be. This front is now eliminated. So we should really move this force over to this front over here. Get on over here. It's going to take him 50 days to get here. That's a while. But we're definitely pushing our way on through here and wrapping up some of these fronts. Russia is now at 67 reasons to not accept this. Beautiful. So that's getting a lot better. And we should have some of these fronts wrapping up soon. So we should automatically send forces like over here, over here. That'll be fine. Yep, this looks solidly under control. We're continuing to sink convoys everywhere around here. That's all good. We're very negative financially. We're not shocked about that. We have 113 million in our investment pool. Okay, so that's quite a lot. We should probably work on some of this stuff. So Idaho, Wyoming, Nevada, and Utah. One, two three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and we need like nine in Wyoming. That's quite a lot. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. That is all under control. We now need taxation capacity in Massachusetts, Louisiana, and Pennsylvania. So three in Massachusetts, two in Louisiana. So Louisiana, one, two in Massachusetts, one, two, three. And the other one was in Pennsylvania. We need four. Okay. Well, there's some construction capacity going on anyway. And we can go to our construction queue, move this up, and now we'll get some auto queue. Excellent. Peru, Bolivia is out of this war. Flemish people are migrating to Kansas. And we are definitely going to wrap up some of these fronts very soon. No doubt about that. We've got an election coming up. 
and this war will be over soon. We're not quite there yet. 51 reasons not to accept at this juncture. What is currently expensive? Ironclads and radios. Fair enough. We could definitely think about building some electrics industries. Uh, where would, would we want to do that? Looks like the answer is New York. Okay. Let's go ahead and construct ourselves a full electrics industry. <laughs> That's not even maxing out our construction. I like it. Not even maxing out removal from our investment pool. Oof. Okay. So, obviously, we have way too much over here, right? These guys need to come over here and advance this front. I want these guys to come over here and advance this front. And I want, like, mm, these guys to come over here and advance this front. There's not a lot there. They have a lot of troops up here. That's interesting. Okay. So let's get these fronts wrapped up, right? That is our top priority at this moment. We'll have forces arriving over here. This front is now wrapped up. And I would like to move this unit over here. There we go. Looks good. And we're going to win these battles quite handily, I believe. Oh yeah, definitely. So these fronts should be done soon enough. Are you into this yet, Russia? 38 reasons not to. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Swedish people are migrating to New Jersey, so that's fine. A lot of forces over here right now on this front. But we should win that. Mass propaganda has been unlocked. That's not something that we were working on. That was just an exposure. So that looks good. All of these fronts are positive for us. Great. 30 reasons to not accept this. Okay. So we should have this all completed very, very soon here. Interesting that we're... Is this, like, all impassable up here? Okay, this is all impassable terrain. Got it. The Working Men's Party wins, putting us at a legitimacy of 84, which is the best that we can do for right now. Okay, what is our taxation level at? We should probably bump our taxation level up to here. China just left the war. That's a big deal. That is a very big deal, in fact. Let's move this unit over to here. Excellent. And we'll have that back under control now on that front. There we go. No problem. 17 reasons not to accept this peace deal. Cool. 800k, huh? We'll go ahead and drop our taxation level back down. Fascinating. Okay, so that looks good. I do want to continue our constructions. We need to continue our constructions more than this. So we'll go ahead and do that for now. We're back down to being negative, but I think that's okay. Stormtroopers were just unlocked, and we should probably go ahead and turn this up to... We could go to infiltrators. Or to chemical weapon specialists. 50 offense... Machine gunners are good at defense. Okay. We'll go ahead and go to chemical we weapon specialists. What could possibly go wrong with that? Fantastic. And we should definitely be subsidizing railways. We should... Well, we'll go through those once we... Uh, once we get all this done. War crimes! Cool. All is fair in love and war. Actually, will he be tried for his crimes? Uh, yeah, we'll try him for his crimes. That's fine. So we lost a general. No big deal there. We're down to two fronts here. This is basically fully occupied. Seven reasons to not accept this. Four reasons. Beautiful. So we almost have Alaska under our control. We will propose this peace deal as soon as they'll accept it, which is not quite now... Should be on this week, Dick, I think. There we go. 
So we propose that. And accepted. Beautiful. Alaska is now under our control. So we'll check railways here. There's no railway in Alaska. We'll get one building. And we're going to need to go through all of this, of course. Trench infantry, siege artillery, motorized reconnaissance, chemical weapons specialists. Fantastic. Modern ports. And we'll do government-run railways, auto-expanded. Wheat farms, chemical fertilizers, vineyards, compression ignition tractors. Anything else? Yes, maize farms. There's a lot here that we're actually going to have to go through. That's not shocking, considering that we had a rebellion of, like, four states to deal with in the middle of that, but it wasn't a big deal. Cool. We'll auto-expand this, get these iron mines done. That's all looking fantastic. That was already set to auto-expand. We actually can't further auto-expand. Steam donkeys for gold mines. Looks good. Anything else in here? Yes. Logging camps. Okay. And that all looks good. Auto expand these if possible. We'll go to combustion oil derricks. And in the urban buildings, are there any urban buildings in Alaska right now? The answer is kinda. Kinda. We'll put in arcades, electric streetlights, public motor carriages. We will do film art and independent artists. Auto expand our art academies, telephone switchboards, and analytical philosophy department. Okay, that looks good. Now, let's make sure that this is being made into a state. And let's also make sure that we have all of our agriculture that we can have. So, Alaska needs one. That will be set to auto-expand here in a moment. Anything else? No. Okay, that looks good. Coal mines will get maxed out in Alaska. Gold mines will absolutely get maxed out in Alaska. Logging camps. Fishing wharves. Whaling stations. All looks good. Okay, so those all get maxed out. And at this point, we need to go into our buildings, into livestock ranches. Set that to auto-expand. And that looks good. Okay. Eight weeks left in our construction queue. So we will be seeing some auto-queue happening here. That's good. Okay, move up this electrics industry. There we go. So we've got Fascist Oregon and Oregon here. What are they even doing? Like, what is going on with this war? Neither of them have access to any troops. Well, that's awkward. That's very, very awkward. Can we do anything here? No possible diplomatic play on fascist Oregon, and, or rather, on Oregon, and no possible diplomatic play on fascist Oregon. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. We're going to need to wait until this war support drops further and they just end their war. That's the way that's going to have to end. What's our truce with Great Britain like? 1915. So two years on that. As far as our actual infamy goes, 88.8. .8. So we should definitely let our notoriety drop for a bit here. No doubt about that. Then we'll declare on Great Britain for Newfoundland and maybe this little chunk of Mexico here if they don't back down. Cool. So this is looking very, very good, right? We've got this very thoroughly under control. We need to continue our constructions, so we will do something like this. We're about to have our tech finish. This apparently did not auto-queue. There we go, there's some. Seven weeks, cool. So, our construction is what it is, right? We've got a lot in our investment pool, and kind of no way to spend it. <laughs> it's exciting, to be sure. So, we just finished up Concrete Fortifications. Behaviorism is on its way. It'll be here in 7 to 12 months. No problems there. Down this direction, we could go battleships and aircraft carriers. Military aviation, we could go NCO training. We'll go ahead and go the NCO training, and that reminds me, we're going to need to max out our military buildings. 
So that'll be fine. We're building all of that now, and that's not removing from our investment pool, so that does put us negative financially. For the moment, that's fine. Cool. So we have a lot of construction underway, and this is actually queued here. Cool. We're going to move this up and let this auto queue again. Because we want to remain as maxed out as possible. So this power plant moves up, and that gives us eight weeks left, and it should auto queue new things, in theory. Excellent. 29 weeks, so we move that up. I really wish that this, like, had an or to it to determine if we're constructing the thing that's going to take longer than 26 weeks right now, then we should probably queue something up. <laughs> that would be nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. How's our economy doing? Very, very well. Chemical warfare was just completed, and oil was discovered in Alabama. That was a very laggy weak tick. But let's go ahead and construct our oil rigs in Alabama. Beautiful. I would like to go after Oregon, but realistically, there's not much we can do here until they end their existing war. Fascist Oregon will, I believe, give up eventually. They have one reason not to accept a white piece. Fascinating. And they're not going to lose more war support. Hmm. That's very strange, for sure. So there's 46 reasons to accept this. Interesting. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see what we can do about this situation. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Ken Tuin, James, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Kentogen, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisol, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.